Hi folks, this is CEO speaking again. Today's video is about one other gate, the NAND gate. I'm going to start with a short demo I prepared for you. Here it is. So it's based on some very interesting uh, switches called micro switches. You can hear them, or if it is bigger, like this one here, you can hear, you can hear it clearly. You have at least three or four like those in your microwave oven. And there are various sizes. I have another one here. I soldered some wires on it to be able to use it. This is very quiet. And I even opened the mouse for you. If you pick up any Logitech mouse, chances are you are going to find inside several. You can, he you can see here two of them, micro switches. Just listen to them. One here, one here. Chances are they are going to be uh, made by Omron. Like this one here, you can see. There is another one here underneath. But you can clearly see two of them. So Omron is a uh, big uh, Japanese company making among other things, PLCs. So my demo PLCs I use most of the time are Omron. So these micro switches can be found inside the mouse you use for your computer. What about these? These are very commonly used to give pulses to equipment. Like here I prepared the demo where such a micro switch, if you take a look on the counter, it gives pulses regardless the speed you want to count faster or slower, it just won't matter, okay? It allows you counting, so you press it one time, like nothing happens when I press it, when I release it, it counts, see? It can, make, it can be made opposite way. I prefer this one, so it counts very nicely. However, all these micro switches, they have a kind of drawback by design. Because they have a spring inside, Imagine this is a metallical plate, this one here, we call it a pole, and it switches between two positions. The two positions here are normally closed contact because the pole is touching it, and when you press it, it goes to the other one, which was normally open. But instead of going like this, like a medicinal ball filled with sand, where it stays, it's going to jump several times before establishing a contact because of the spring it has inside. This is called the bouncing, like a ball. So bouncing is not good, why? Because you take a look what happens here, I'm going to quickly reset it for you, okay? So now it's looking like the counter is at zero, but this micro switch here, it has the bouncing, take a look. You press it, already jumps to 10. You release it, it goes to 11. Now it goes to 19, it goes to 20. 31, 32, 47, 49, it jumps like randomly. So it's, it's an unpredictable situation because it depends on the speed and the force you press on these ones. And you cannot have a reliable contact to keep counting, you see? It's just keeping jumping all the time. You'll never know what it is, okay? For that reason, you have to correct that situation. So because it's bouncing, you have to do the debouncing. And here, the one in the top, it has this problem corrected and take a look how, how nicely it's working, you see? So it doesn't matter how fast or how slow you press it, it's going only one time counting, see? So how is this done? It can be done different ways. The most common ways are two. In PLCs, they just delay with about 10 milliseconds so by the time it's remaining in the position, 10 milliseconds passed already. Another way is to use like here NAND gates to build a little device. We're gonna talk in detail about this later. And then you can obtain the same result correcting the bouncing. So now, how the NAND is working? I'm writing here. So this special gate is called NAND. How is this made? 
So let's say here to respect the pattern we established for the other gates, I'm going to start A with the symbol. So what is the symbol they use on diagrams? Because you see here, it's starting with the AND we already know. So they took an AND, like this, with two inputs, A and B. And here is the AND. And they connected at the output of it, an inverter. The name of the inverter, one of the name of the inverter, is called the NOT function. And this, they put everything in the box. And what, what did it become? They picked up from the NOT, they picked up to the first letter. And then they related it to the function and, and that's how you get the NAND. So what is the NAND? Is not AND. But because that kind of symbol is a bit too bulky, remember that the triangle inside is the amplifier, and the fact that the signal from the input from the input here to the output is out of phase 180 degrees is symbolized by the little bubble. So instead of all this, they decided to convert all that, and they said, we're gonna draw the two inputs here, and we only draw the bubble at the output, and this is the symbol for the NAND. Very easy, very simple. B. The mathematical function, what the function does. Hey, now we are in logic, in, uh, uh, in logic algebra. So the function, the NAND, if we take this example with two inputs only, is going to be A times B. This is the AND. But everything at the end is reversed. So you're going to put a big bar in the top of all that. This bar represents here the inverter. That's how we write it in the mathematical equation. Okay? We're going to understand it better when we draw the truth table. Okay? And to get a truth table, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put here the two inputs, inputs, A and B. I'm going to put here the function AND we already know from another video, and then the function NAND. And then we're going to see how easy it is to figure it out. So the two inputs are going to take one of the four possible combinations. Either both of them are zero, or only one of them in turn goes one. So zero, 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 one, one, zero, or both of them are one, okay? So the AND, what does it do? It multiplies. If at least one of the two terms is a zero in a product, zero times anything else is a zero. So you're gonna have zero, 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 and one. Only when both of them are one, this is a one. What is the NAND? It's the opposite of it, because between the AND and the NAND, remember, you have an inverter. So, is a one, 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 and zero. That's it. And I can show it to you very quickly, right here. So here I have the two buttons, and now I have both inputs zero. So both input zero, exactly like here, both input zero. What is the output? Is a one. This is my NAND. When I put only this one here, a one, zero times one is still a zero and inverted is still a one. So you see a one. I put it back to zero, I put the other one a one. So I have a one and zero. And the output is still a one. And only when I press both of them, and both of them are one and one, only then, the output goes to zero. So this is the function AND, okay? Respecting the pattern, if we imagine a picture D, the timing chart, timing chart. If we imagine 
a picture on the oscilloscope. I'm gonna put here the input A, the input B, I'm gonna put the AND, and I'm gonna put an AND, because it's much easier to figure them out if you compare. On the uh, right side is the time. Now let's imagine I'm gonna play with these switches randomly. Like I keep this one in one up to here, and here it becomes a zero. And I'm going to pick up this one from here, and I'm gonna keep this one in one for a while and back in zero. It's a random play with the two inputs connected like to imaginary switches. And remember what we did. Anytime any of the inputs, they switch zero to one or one to zero, we drop a line, a vertical line. Anytime you have a transition, okay? And for each of them, you're going to write the value. For this interval of time, from here to here, the input A is a one. From here to here is also a one. From here to here is a zero. From here to here is a zero. B is a zero here, one here, one here, and zero here. So now, what the AND was doing? It was multiplying. If it is a zero, zero times anything else is a zero. When both of them are one, it's a one. Zero and zero. So this, this was the AND we did in another video. What is the AND? It's the opposite of it. So if this was a zero, it becomes a one. If this is a one, it becomes a zero, and so on. So this is exactly the picture representing the NAND gate. As you can see, it's like the picture in a lake is a, a mirror picture of the AND because it's opposite to it. So this is the timing chart. Now, what about E? What about packages? This is the most used simple or basic gate in electronics, the NAND. So there are a lot of packages. I'm going to mention here only from the TTL, the 00, TTL, the 00, and from the CMOS, the 4011. And I'm going to put for your full information on Google Drive this page, because the two kind of gates the uh, uh, CMOS and the TTL, they are not compatible with each other. As you can see, the first gate is the same orientation here and here, but the second gate is not. The third gate is not, okay? The fourth is correct, okay? But they are not interchangeable. So here you have a full list, maybe not a full list, there are other packages, but the most common of them. So all the 00, zero packages, 7400LS, ALS, HC, HCT, and then another kind of package, 74132, LS, ALS, and so on, okay? So these packages all contain what? Four identical NAND gates to input each. As here, these two kinds of packages, 4011 or 4093, they both contain four identical NAND gates inside, excepting they are not interchangeable with the TTL. So we're going to have this and that on Google Drive. And the last thing is, what was the little diagram correcting the bouncing, by the way, okay? So here, example, example of application. Application. And I'm gonna say, this is a de-bouncing circuit for micro, switches, okay? So I'm gonna draw it here. It's a very simple diagram. It's not that complicated, actually. This one here, in the bottom, is the micro switch itself. I'm gonna put it in a red frame, this one. It has three contacts. One of them is called the common. This is the pole, the metallical plate. That contact is the normally closed. This is the normally open. Here there are two resistors related to the voltage. In our situation here is five volts, five volts. Here the two resistors are 10 kilo ohm each. 
And here are the two gates used for the debouncing. And this is the electrical circuit. So depending what kind of signal you need, you can take it from here, or you can take it from here. We're going to discuss this kind of circuit detail some, some other time. But if you can see here, there are two identical NAND gates. If you take them from the package, let's say, uh, 7400. I'm going to give you pin numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay. Remember the ground is on the pin 7, the VCC 5 volts is on the pin 14. These are the two first pins you have to connect, and then the logic is this. So if you do this, you can correct the bouncing of the Micro switch, by the way, micro switch. That's the micro switch. So you have it up. You have the functioning of the NAND gate, symbol, mathematical formula, the truth table, timing chart, some packages, and I'm going to put the list of packages on Google Drive. And you have the application I used for the little demo. That being said, thank you very much for today. See you next time. Bye bye.